Well, let's see if anybody will show up. Definitely have a lag. Hmm. Well, I'm back. Just doing a little bit of a uh, tweaking here. Got a little bit of a lag. All right, if somebody's watching, let me know. Say something. Killed it. Can you hear me? Come on. It says two people are watching. Help me out. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know. Hey, what's up, Anthony? All right. Good day, mate. How's everything looking? Sounds it. Look okay? Sound okay? Yeah, I got I got some new gear uh, to do my streams. Awesome! I uh, got a new webcam and actually picked up a mic today. So... The last time I, if you look at my channel, the first web stream that I did, or live stream I did, it was, yeah, it was terrible. The video quality was terrible. Everything was terrible. So, uh, hey, what's up, JR? I was talking, uh, getting Anthony to check to make sure everything looks okay and sounds okay and everything look good and sound good on your end. It's weird because I'm looking when I look at myself over here on my laptop. It's like there's a little bit of a a lag, so that's what I'm wondering if it's just me or if it's actually yeah, it's crazy. So uh, yeah, this is um, this is just something really really quick. Um, I went by Walmart, had some uh, pickups there, and I actually got something uh, in the mail today. So I figured I would, you know, test out the new gear, uh, which I'll show you part of it right here. Uh, that's my uh, blue microphone that I picked up. It's really cool. It's a 
inexpensive. It's uh, I think like forty bucks at Best Buy. So uh, yeah, what's everybody uh, gonna be doing this fine Friday night weekend? Any hunts planned? Are you looking for anything any special? Can't believe Anthony all the way from Australia. That's awesome. Australia. Beautiful, beautiful country. Let's see. You know what? I got something that I've been... Before we... Uh, I'll wait and see if anybody else comes in and before I actually unbox some stuff, but... This little uh, this little egg attack. Um, I've been wanting to uh, been wanting to unbox him, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox him to see if uh, we have any more people come in before I actually. Because what I want to unbox is down here. Well, I want to unbox this too, but what I actually want to. Uh, show you guys I actually got today in the mail. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the egg attacks. I'm not. This is uh, the first one I've gotten. I picked it up at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I love Star Wars, so I figured, what the heck. Let's grab it. It's like a little miniature hot toys. But, uh, yeah. Check him out. He's really, really cool looking. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, me too. And when I've seen this one, I've seen it a couple of times, and I was like, you know, do I really want to get this? Because this is the only one I've ever seen. Uh, so I picked him up. And I'll be honest with you, he's he's pretty cool. I mean, he's got some, he's got some good articulation. It's going to take me a hot minute to figure out everything but yeah he's he's really cool hey what's up Jetta I picked up a mic today ha <laughs> took your advice so uh, while we were just kicking around I was uh, got a couple things I want to open up but uh, I figured I'd go ahead and crack this bad boy open just to see if anybody else how many people actually showed up but it comes with uh, two pairs of hands and some got his little got his little Star Wars little Star Wars clear stand but these are pretty cool I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie he's got a little little blaster I didn't realize he actually came with a, uh, a backpack this will sort of lead into what I'm going to uh, wait to it um you know, it's it does, but it's not crazy. You can definitely tell it's head heavy, but that sort of makes sense because the head's bigger than the body, and it sort of has a little pop feel to it. Um, but there's his uh, his blaster or his uh, blaster rifle with the oversized, <laughs> yeah, overcompensated barrel. Um, the backpack is. That's I have no idea how to, you know, like most, like most of us, you know, reading instructions is, who reads instructions? I'll have, but I'll have to read instructions for this thing. Just to try to figure out, I don't know, really, suppose, let's just see here if that's the truth. I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. It says there's a ma Yep, there's a magnet. <laughs> Here I was, I was doubting, but there's a magnet. That little thing flops over like that, so there he is with his uh, little magnet, or his uh, backpack. But yeah, these things are, uh, and, and you know, there's, there's a reason why I wanted to unbox this thing today, is... Uh, because I actually uh, I'm going to go out tomorrow. I've got a Easter 
photo shoot to do tomorrow. A little bitty, a little bitty in. So uh, I wanted something else to take with me. So uh, watch me break this thing. There. Yeah, you ain't gonna get that on with the backpack. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. But uh, so yeah, there's his little his little stand that it comes with. Yeah, it's his little swing. But realistically, he stands good on his own. I mean, he really does. But me and him is gonna go out and uh, we're gonna we're gonna take some photos tomorrow after the the Easter the Easter shoot. It's cool. I mean, it's got like um. I mean, the first thing pops into my head because of the um, the size of the head is a pop because of the the head size. Uh, price on this one, um, they're. They're probably in the 69 to 79 range. They're three, six inches, and you can pick one up. And you can get them online. Um, like I said, I got it at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I'm a member there, so I got some got some off on it. And I think they were actually running a sale. It was while I was in uh, Atlanta and Alpharetta, one of my buying binges that I uh, I went through. So I tell you what, you know, I know it's Friday night. I don't want to <laughs> uh, I don't want to keep you guys up too long. Like I said, the main purpose of this um, was just to test out some equipment, get some feedback, see how things are. And uh, but I'm gonna, I'm going to keep him here. I'm going to put him right there maybe. Because we are going to unbox something, um, so why not? Steve, what's up? Um, so, Walmart. I'm actually going to have to move him. Yeah, I'm going to put him over here. Yeah, we'll put him right there for now. Um, Walmart. Yeah. So, what do you think is in the box? What could be in the box from Walmart? Hmm. What could it be? I was really, really, really hoping that my uh, Shumi mysterious boxes would, would have showed up today. Uh, they didn't. Um, I picked up uh, eight of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, I think I got problems right now. I really do. Well, we got some uh, air pillows. All right, so first things first. I picked up this pop, the Inquisitor. Um... I, I got a I got a bunch of Star Wars Rebel Pops. Um, this one I've never seen. I've got Sabine. I got Hera. Um, I got K K Kanan. I can't pronounce his name. But this one I've never seen. So um, yeah, I had to. I wanted to get it. I just I just loved it. I had to get it. Uh, the next one that I got or I picked up actually. Um, I picked it up honestly. I mean, I love the I love the character, and I picked it up just for the simple fact that uh, it was black and white. I've never seen it in any of my WalMarts, but I liked it. I picked up the uh, black and white Wonder Woman. Uh, I think this one I really photograph cool. I'm really big uh, from a photography point of view. I am huge into black and whites. I love black and whites. Actually, I don't know if you guys saw it when I posted it on Instagram. Um, I think I posted on Instagram the uh, quarter scale Kratos uh, photos I did. I actually just redid some of those today in black and whites. And I'll be honest with you, 
I really love the black and white, so I'll probably throw some of those up in the next uh, couple of days or so. But yeah, I had to have I had to have the black and white Wonder Woman. And what's funny is, um, the other day I got the uh, Superman soldiers that I personally had one, and then Brad uh, sent me two of them. My, I just got a notification today that my Nightmare Batman actually shipped out today. So, uh, what is this? What is this? The Legion of Collectors. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The Legion of Collectors. That has a uh, that has a nice ring to it. And lastly, but not least, um, this one I'm really excited for. I picked up the three pack, Biggs, Wedge, and Porkins. And this one I love. I love this one. And I'm not gonna lie, Porkins is my favorite. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just, I like Porkins. But this is really a cool three-pack. And I can't remember what, oh, man. Uh, Ryan, if you're still on here, what was they, what were they going for on Walmart's website? It was, it's like, I want to say like 10 bucks, but is that right? Can't be right. I forgot. But, uh, yeah, this one I'm really excited for. Digging it digging it I'm digging it but I want to I want to do this real quick because I have something else I'm wanting to un unbox down here uh, I'm not going to completely unbox it but I want you guys to be the first to see a new addition to my collection well, let's take Wonder Woman out let's see what's going on with Wonder Woman Oh, wow. It's actually better out of box. It is so much better out of box. Hopefully you'll be able to be able to see. What part of, uh, hey Steve, what part of Canada? My wife's family is from PEI. And I love PEI. That is a beautiful, beautiful um, area. And she stands up. But this thing is cool. I'm, I'm digging this. And it's not really black and white. It's um, sort of has like a little tarnish to it, like a very faint coppery look, bronzy look. London, Ontario. Sweet. Uh, have you ever been to PEI? Or, okay, so if you're from PEI or around Canada, you call it PEI. But for everybody that doesn't know, it's uh, Prince Edward Island. A beautiful place. It's uh, the island is actually broken up into um, French, which is what my mother-in-law is, French Canadian. Then you got I think Scottish, Dutch. I want to say German. I could be wrong on that one. Uh, but each segment of the island that you go through, uh, you can actually tell when you get into that area because all the houses have uh, either flags or these big stars. There's all kinds of decorations in their yard, on their house, or something that shows what nationality their actually heritage is from. So it's really, really cool. And they have a 26, they have a lake there. It's the only lake on the island. I think it's, I can't remember how many miles across it is, but there is absolutely no recreational activities allowed in it because Every single PEI mussel that you have ever eaten is grown in that lake. The whole lake is just covered with mussel socks. It's, it's really, really cool. I know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to bore you with that. But what do you think about, what do you think about this Wonder Woman pop? I think it's pretty cool. I'm digging it. So, we got Wonder Woman out. I'm going to pop open the Inquisitor. I want to see what he looks like. Let's see here. Let's look at the Inquisitor. 
And as, as anybody that knows me or has have followed me or anything like that, and I've said it a million times, everything that I buy, um, collect, or anything, primarily it is from a photography point of view. What can I, how can I, can I photograph it? Can I create something with it? And the same thing goes for, for this one. Did it come off this hand? Yes. Check him out. He's really cool too. I'm digging it. I'm digging the lines in the head, the yellow eyes. He's really cool. Got this crazy, I have no idea what kind of lightsaber thing this thing is, but it is absolutely badass. It's awesome. Oh, Wonder Woman fell down. But yeah, he stands up really good. Wonder Woman, yeah, she's she's a little top heavy, not gonna lie. But uh yeah, the Inquisitor. Alright, so let's do this. Um, let me put him back on his stand. Yes, Steve, I actually almost picked up the seventh sister and the fifth brother. Um Man, and, and after, I'm going to get them because I'm a big doofus head, and I don't know why I didn't had them in my cart, and I just, I, for some strange reason, I didn't pick them up, and I don't know why. Yes, Mike, I do have an Instagram. Uh, it's, uh, oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. I think it's, uh, you, you can really tell that I'm, I'm up on my, my stuff here. Uh, Greg Cook Photography. So yeah, just, uh, I'll put a, uh, let me show you here. I'll put a link in the, uh, the chat. I actually just did a uh, um, where am I at? where am I at oh right let me put it right here I, I put a lot on my uh, Facebook uh, Instagram I put a lot in really really quick that's uh, but it's not a dedicated toy uh, Instagram um because to be honest with you, I have a life, and I want you guys to actually see my life. Um, it's not all about figs. It's not all about pops. It. I want you to see every aspect of it, and that might be a good thing. It might be a bad thing. I don't know, but that's just me. Uh, I've got a wife. I've got a daughter. I've got grandkids. You know, I want it all. So that's what I do. I put them on there. All right, so, oh, <laughs> I meant to set this up before I actually went live, but I was trying to figure some stuff out, and I really, really just sort of screwed up and forgot about it, but uh, I went to Hobby Lobby, and I was I was wanting to come up with, I was trying to find some kind of a, a prop that I could put right here on this side of the table, and uh so this is what I come up with. And I ethically failed because I wanted to have it all set up before. So we got this. And we got this. And we got this. Right there. <laughs> I don't know if you can not see it all. Let's look here. So, uh, yeah, this was uh, <laughs> GCP, Greg Cook Photography. Uh, so, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I I'll come up with all kinds of weird crap. Uh, Hobby Lobby's a great store, and, uh, but, yeah, that was going to be a little, little thing there. All right, so now for the, um, now for the unboxing I'm going to show it to you, but I'm not going to really actually 
unbox it? Or will I? Wow. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to do a video. I might do a video on this one. But I at least want you guys to see. Like I said, I'm not going to make this a really, really... Uh, Oh, good idea. Hang it up behind me. Yeah. I actually thought about right here where I have Spidey and the Vulture. I actually thought about putting it right there. Uh, but anyway, here we go. You guys are the first to see the newest addition to my uh, Hot Toys collection. JR, open it. All right. I don't like Hot Toys. I really don't. No, I don't like them. Um, this one I've been on the fence about. I wanted it. I've thought about getting it a couple of times. Um, I backed off on it a couple, pretty much every time. Um, hey, that's yep, hot toys. Hey, ho hey, Jose. Um, but they, I think it was St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day uh, Hot Toys. I want to say it was like a 35 or a 40, I think it's 35% off. And, well, I pulled the trigger. All right, here we go. All right, so what do we think it is? I mean, you guys know that I'm into Star Wars, so what do you think it is? Let's get some guesses. Let's get a couple of guesses going on while I take the plastic off. I'm not going to show you. You know it's a black box. That's pretty obvious. No guesses? Oh, there comes the plastic. Death Trooper. Death Trooper's a good one, but I already have the Death Trooper Specialist right there. But that's a good Vader. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. So, yeah, that's good guesses. That's good guesses. They're all good ones. But no, I picked up the first order TIE Fighter. Um, there's just something about this one that I like. Um, I don't know. I like him. Um, you know what? Screw it. Got eight people watching. It's Friday night. I didn't expect a, a ton of people, and that's okay. I appreciate all you guys, so we're going to go ahead and open it. I don't care. Let's open it, because I want to see it. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. That's, you know, I don't know about, about you guys, but, man, Hot Toys, their, their cover art is amazing. I absolutely love the cover art. It's is phenomenal. Let's see here. Put that right there. The pops here in Brazil are three times. Oh, well, really? How much are pops in uh, Brazil, Jose? Wow, three times? Like thirty bucks for a pop? Wow, that's insane. Wow. That's now now I know why when you come to why you've been talking about Atlanta so much. Yeah, you'll be able to Dude, if they're three times as much in, in Brazil <laughs> What's up, Batman? If they're literally three times as much in Brazil, you could almost you could probably pay for your trip. Just in pops, if you buy them and take them back and sell them. All right, let's get this bad boy open. It doesn't really go, I mean, other than Star Wars, um, you know, he, he doesn't come like with a lot of stuff. But the, the, the thing about him that I really liked was the uniform. I don't know why, the flight suit. So, I will show you his one and only accessory, other than his hands. 
is a blaster pistol. Let's see if that'll focus. Yes, I did say hot toys. Uh, me, me, and me and Jetta have talked about this Tie Fighter a couple of times. So there's his one and only accessory. Uh, he comes with uh, three pairs of hands, trigger, um, trigger left and right, open palm. Looks like a couple of closed fists. And I don't know what the heck that thing is. It's almost like a holding a lightsaber palm. Uh, the, man, the detail in these things are crazy. I know you probably won't be able to see that that hand detail, but man, they're just insane. But anyway, enough of that. Enough of accessories. Let's grab him out. Let's take his plastic off. And let's look at this thing right off the bat. Wow. Before we do anything, right there he is. In all his glory. Let's see if he actually shows up. He's black. <laughs> the flight suit is a flight suit. And... There is no extra padding. Um, oh, the flexibility. And the boots are actually uh, like, like slip-on boots. That's really cool. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, man. Um, hey. Oh, the helmet. It's uh, actually both. Um, the helmet itself is actually shiny, but it looks like there's a, a it almost is like a visor or like some kind of a, a shield uh, that's matte. It doesn't move though. Now, as far as he head rotation, you know, you're going to be, it has a weird head rotation. It's like everything points down instead of, and, and I know it's because of this hose. Because that hose is tight. So you would definitely have to be careful with that. But, um, Ryan, the, um, I mean, look look at this elbow bend. I mean, this thing is literally like a clone trooper. I mean, look at, I mean, you can almost touch it. That's insane. I've got stormtroopers and clone troopers. I've got my shore trooper, my death trooper. Clone Troopers are the only thing that I've seen that is even remotely that close on flexibility. He, yeah, he could literally. I mean, <laughs> I mean, literally. I don't know if you'll be able to tell it, but I mean, he's touching the helmet right there. That's that's crazy. But what I'm thinking about doing is incorporating. I've got some other weapons from the clone troopers and stuff, so I'll probably uh, not just utilize his uh, blaster pistol. Now, knees, look at that. Holy wow. And I don't know if how many of you guys, I know that Jetta has some hot toys and stuff, and, and if none of the other people here watching have them, he can definitely tell you this is something you do not see and stormtroopers. Uh, that I don't even know. I don't even know if a freaking clone trooper. I mean, I'm literally touching his butt. <laughs> Django, what's up? Yes, he can kick his own. He can kick his own ass. That's wow. Now the hip. Okay, it's it's not terrible, but this flight suit is so loose. Um, yeah, this is this is a this is very cool, very cool. Let's see how well he stands on his own. Man, that's not bad. 
Yeah, he might go out with me and get photographed tomorrow. I might take them both out with me and photograph them tomorrow. Oh, man, that Thor. That Thor is awesome. Um, 150 bucks for the, the play arts here because uh, I've got a few back here and they run about the same thing here in uh, Tennessee, Georgia. 149 bucks. Um, <laughs> pollen dogs. That, that Hella, oh my man, that, the Hella is one that I've seriously thought about getting myself. Um, yeah, Hella. Hella! Oh, you don't, I, I, I don't need to start seeing it. This live will end very, very quickly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. This right here, everybody knows, blah, blah, blah. But, so basically, um, first order of Kyle Fighter. There it is right there. Yes, I agree, Steve. I love the look of the Gladiator Thor, yeah? Hey, that's the... I have yet... Here's the thing. There was only one Mezco that I truly wanted. And I missed it. Mezco, great, great figs. Um, but uh, I wanted Deathstroke. And I didn't get him. I did not get him. But yeah, this is this is cool. Let me find his. Uh, let's swap. Let's swap out a hand here real quick. Yeah, I like the base too. It's it's relatively it's a simple base, but uh, I dig it. Oh, and of course, I don't know about. These little uh, little pegs here. Here's the thing I started doing um, with these little pegs. Because I thought I lost a pair of them. And uh, I started putting them on hand sculpts that I normally don't use all the time. Or do use all the time. Like, like say for instance I wanted to keep this right hand sculpt. I might go ahead and throw one in or put it on another one just because I was afraid of losing these silly things. Um, let's, uh, you see it normally when it pops off like that, the little armor comes off. Yeah, there's absolutely no padding underneath this thing at all. So that's, that's the reason why it's so flexible. Yeah, when you come in, I'm definitely going to try to get down to that area so we can, uh, Finally meet, Jose, because you have literally commented on pretty much anything that I've ever posted on YouTube or anything, and I really appreciate all of that. So I definitely, uh, we need to definitely meet up, you know, spend some money together. <laughs> all right. So like in this situation here, like I was saying earlier, so that peg stayed on. So instead of me taking that peg off, I'll just put this, put another peg on this pistol hand. So yeah, there we go. I tell you, I'm, I'm really, really loving this big right here. I just, I'm digging it. That freaking articulation is insane. I haven't quite figured out. So the ideal I have for photographing him um, is since he's a TIE fighter and man, Wonder Woman just will not. You need to cooperate. Um, since he is a TIE fighter, 
I'm sort of leaning towards the uh, crashed TIE fighter concept. There's a big construction yard um, close to my house here, and I'm just like taking them out just this big, massive, flat, dirt area and just sort of making sort of like he's uh, crashed a little bit. That's sort of my, that's the idea that's running around in my brain right now. Of course, my brain is subject to change. Wow. She literally, I'm putting her back in her box. She's she's not playing nice, so I'm going to put her back in my box. Or her box. She's going to time out, guys. She's going to time out. So I think, let me check here real quick, but I'm thinking that I am, okay, there's 10 of you watching and there's only two people like this video. Come on, guys. Give me eight more. <laughs> Give me eight more. Come on. Come on. Look a brother up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate that. I think I was at, where was I at? Let me look here. Let me look here. And I think this is because of line, um, line. Jetta's uh, thing the other night. 297 subscribers. I need three more to be at 300. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to it. Hook me up. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dustin. She, the Django and Dustin, yeah, she's drunk and tipsy. Um, Jose, Mezco, NECA, or Play Arts? I've got all, I've got two of the three. Um, you know, budget, they're all, I mean, Mezco's run, you know, like 80 bucks. Um, if you're talking about NECA, um, six inch, or you're talking about NECA quarter scale? Because the quarter scales, um, you know, they're about 120 bucks in my area. I love the core scales. They're big. They're they're great to, to photograph. Um, uh, play arts. I just recently got into play arts, and that was because of um, Oxford uh, Steel Collectibles was the reason why, and Oxford Comics was because I I don't have play arts in my area. So, bam, that's, uh, that's why I actually got into uh, play arts. And the, uh, my very first play arts that I ever picked up is right here. And guess what? He's still in the box. Yeah. Because X-Force actually... Um, I had to get him. I wanted to unbox him first, but yeah. NECA for the yeah, true, very true. Well, guys, um, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, you know, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and you know, watching me and helping me test everything. Uh, really appreciate it because, like I said, this whole live thing is. Is new to me. I, I'm trying to get a lot of uh, Jetta Patrol. You know, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, subscribe to him. He's an awesome guy. Um, me and him talk a lot. He's gave me some really good advice, and I'm, I'm slowly, slowly getting more into this. Uh, I love doing the, the videos. Uh, the live thing sometimes is a little easier. Um, I do know the next, the next live that I'm going to do um, is my mysterious boxes when they come in. So, not for sure. Hey, Wolverine's on. Sweet. <laughs> doing a, doing a live stream talking about, uh, pops and hot toys and stuff. And we got Wolverine on uh, FX right now. So, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe to my channel. Um, let me know what you think. Um, 
and just uh, we'll we'll do this again sometime. So uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the evening. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and thanks for all the support that you give me and my channel. So we'll see you later.